Large language models, perhaps too large. Pretty much all of AI research today looks something like this. Uh, so Nvidia gave us this cool GPU so we trained a 10 bajillion parameter model. Maybe we can do some text generation with more primitive technologies that require less computation power to generate text. Maybe using these Ooh. mask completion models like BERT and its successors. So first, what am I even talking about? What are these mask filling models? It's all really complicated, but all you really need to know is that something Ooh. takes in some text with a special mask token and returns Ooh. a list of words ranked by how likely they are to fit instead of that mask token. So for a sentence like Apple's mask good, you'd expect the most likely response to be something like taste. Or for this sentence, you'd expect the most The model that I used for now is called mm -hmm. XLM Roberta Large. Ooh. The first idea that I had was to generate text similar to how the GPT models work just by adding the mask token at the end of the sequence and hoping that the network will predict the next word. Here's how the code for that looks like. Ooh. This worked in some rare cases, but the main problem with this method is that it's constantly trying to end the conversation. It always types this, which means end sequence, so nothing is added. To solve this, Every time it goes for like nah -uh, and pick Ooh. the second best prediction it made, so it's forced to continue. This is a little better, but mm. after some time, it just starts writing random nonsense. This method didn't really solve the issue. Ooh. XLM Roberta Large is still trying to end the text by writing end characters like dots and question marks. Now, this makes sense. Unlike the GPT model, the BERT family was trained on predicting the words in the middle of a sentence. Of course it won't have a good performance predicting the last word. So to generate more yes-sensical stuff, we can try to first take the start of the sequence, spam some random words after, and then run a few times over those random words to hopefully convince the network that it's generating words in the middle of the sentence so it won't try to end it. For this, I made a small code restructuring. First I wrote a function that takes in the number of words that I want and returns random text from a list of 3000 words. Here's the code. And it works something like this. And then I wrote this function. To combine the random words with the sequence start and only let the network change the random words. The results from this function were still garbage. Only managed to get a few somewhat normal responses, but most of them were just weird repeating tokens. After that, I decided that further working on this method is not worth it and went back to trying to come up with something new. After a long night of hard work, I noticed that if I generate some random words and manually choose a random word to mask an update each time, I get way more coherent results. The words are logical, connected to each other, and the topic stays mostly the same throughout the whole text. This probably works well because the network is able to iterate multiple times over the sentence, slowly improving it over time. And in previous methods, we expected to predict each word straight away perfectly without letting it fix its mistakes. So first, let's code up a really basic version of that algorithm. And as expected, it worked pretty well. Here you can see some sentences that I generated. I also realized that if the random number generator picks the same number twice, nothing will change, and it will just waste time. So I added a feature called memory, basically if memory equals 3, 
then the R&D generator will keep rolling a new number until it lands on one that didn't appear in the last three rolls. Here's how that looks like in code. Again, this doesn't improve the results. It only optimizes the algorithm to run faster. Here are some additional examples. Now, this is all great and everything, but currently it's just generating random text with no purpose or direction. The simplest solution that I see is to add some kind of topic at the start of the sequence, just like we did with the previous method. The network won't be able to change the topic, it will only be able to change the random words like before, but I hope that it will try to complete the rest of the words to fit the start. Note here that the topic can be inserted pretty much anywhere in the text, it's just too much work. And here it is implemented in code. And it worked! It's actually trying to complete the topic. At this point, we have a pretty much working text completion system. We have three settings to mess around with. Length, which determines how many random words are generated after the topic. Adorations, it's the number of times we mask and unmask one of the random words. And memory length, which prevents the random number generator from repeating. After playing around with it for some time, I found that the best results happen when the durations are about double or triple the length of the random words. Memory length usually needs to get bigger the longer the sequence is. So for a length of 10, a memory length of 3 is fine, but for a sequence of 50, a memory length of 15 will work better. Sometimes, on high iteration values, the text shortens because the network can turn two words into one. For example, something like work test can be turned into work ing. This usually isn't a problem, but if the sequence gets shorter than the memory length, the function will get stuck in an infinite loop trying to pick a different number, but all of the numbers that it can pick are already in the memory. I fixed it by just adding a give up range, after which the random number generator will just ignore the memory and generate something. Here's the updated function. Now let's see what it can really do. First I tried doing sentence completion and got bangers such as cats and calculators or what's the prompt and the completion is together create a solo game and expand the use of technology in and then it got cut off or Samsung Galaxy smartwatch got completed with series 2 adjustment for wear and use on occasion or not it's not good at writing scientific facts for example the shape of the earth is got completed with actually made to look like a star if you notice that the last example reads with way better flow, that's because I made the number of iterations or number of masks to be 60 instead of 20 like on the previous two. But making the iterations larger decreases the length of the response. I also saw that it was getting sort of cut off when the number of iterations was low. So I tried copy-pasting an incomplete response back into the generator and hopefully recreating it. This resembles GPT text generation. Just instead of individual words, it completes whole chunks. Lastly, I wanted to see how using smaller unmasker models will affect the quality of the text. For this, I tried using the original Baird. Its results were far worse, it can't form any coherent sentences, makes frequent writing mistakes, but it does run way faster. The next logical step to this will probably be to create an entirely new unmasker model. This time it will not complete text, but will also input a prompt to generate masks on a list of random words accordingly to fit the prompt better. As usual, both the research file and the cleaner version are in a GitHub repository. 
The link can be found in the description. I heavily encourage anyone watching to check the code yourself and continue researching this topic. Thank you for watching.